Welcome back, fellow YouTube and treasure hunting family. We are back. We are back. Um, I finally got the day off, which I couldn't wait for. I get a chance to do a little bit of treasure hunting. Call my treasure hunting family. And people who I go diving, they know how it is. It gets addictive after us for a while. Nothing but trash in there. The first one is like a food store. It's a pretty big plaza. We got it where we got Sally's, TJ, um, 5B. So it's a pretty big plaza. More food and stuff. Hopefully we come across something. These food places I see. They're using a lot of these dumpsters over here. Sally's is over in this area. But the food place is taking up all the dumpsters. Hopefully we can start off with a good hit. Bunch of wood. Haven't been to this plaza in a long time, guys. It's been like months. But uh thought I'd come out and do some different content, different places that would keep you guys interested. But uh yeah, see you guys on the next one. As you see, guys, they got one of those blue monsters over here. I haven't ran across one of those in a while. Usually just that triple B. There's a grill just sitting back there in the back. Like that is so random. I would love to get this. Wow. They must have couldn't throw it in there. Wow, I wish I could get that. Random doors over here. Then it'll be traffic coming through. Like I say, everywhere I go, just about, we have a car over here. So hopefully nobody sees me out here and I get a good hit. See you there. TJ has the brown monster. I forgot that they had that because, like I said, I ain't been here in months. Hopefully, get us a good score, guys. Okay, this should be the 5B area. That one's locked. Yep, got the lock on it. Check right here. Nothing. This isn't my usual, so I'm not sure which ones is which. That looked like that was the 5B one right there. Uh, I must come on a dump day. That sucks. nothing in there either. Go ahead, Ross. Yep. Dump day. I'm going to go ahead to Harbor Freight, see if they got anything. And then I might check, check GameStop or my old reliable B&BW and Burlington and stuff like that. I'm going to have to decide because, once again, I'm on public transportation, so I got to make it a good choice. So, uh, I'll see you guys over at Harbor. All right, family, we coming up on Harbor Freight. It's a truck right there. Don't see too much anything in here. Don't know what that is, but I don't like it's worth jumping in for. It's like a couple keychains, though. So. See what this is right quick, guys. Oh, it's a big thing, bang. It's a thing. I think I've seen a few key chains. So, earbud, flasher, they use. Feel like they're not. We'll check them later. Okay, hold on to plug in lamp. 
I want person to use them, and I don't know if I could get them to the top, if I could donate them. Uh, this stuff is all random and out everywhere, guys. I'm going to go check this. Obviously not Harbor Freight. I'm going to go check Harbor Freight. All right, guys. I believe this one is Harbor Freight because of all these pallets right here. So for something in it, you got the big lots of people right there looking. Look at the boxes. Uh, Hedge extender empty. Shall I let the big lots manager see me? Because I believe they will tell them. Uh, a whole bunch of boxes. So, I think I'm gonna go over to my other one, my favorite plaza, BMW and stuff, and see y'all there. All right, family, we're coming up on the Burlington. I decided to go over to the Burlington and uh, BMW way for those I usually hit good at, to at least get something. You guys know I couldn't go out like that. Though I might not find it here because I haven't found nothing yet. Still gotta try. Find our first find, guys. Let's do it. I think we can find our first. All right, we'll take it. Since we're sadly no shoes. Uh, I'm not gonna get too deep into that. Here we go with this one five right here. Let's see what it is when I get home. I'm gonna recap. There's always tons of boxes, but never shoes in them. I wish. I mean, I just find a couple of pairs. Pretty good. Boxes there, I know how that go. I see you guys over at BMBW. All right, guys, I'm coming up with my favorite BMBW. We had this truck here again. It's a, a city worker. Now I was sitting here debating. It could be one of two things. One, she worked for the city with these dumpsters, and she sit here waiting to see who does it because it'd be tons of people coming through here, and they don't care if people sitting around or not. They go right in. So I decided to do the same thing. Or she's sitting here waiting for them to dump some stuff because everybody's treasure hunting now. So either she waiting for them to come and dump or either she might be sitting there waiting to complain about treasure hunters. Not quite sure, but it's not my first time seeing it. Let's see what we got. I'm jumping in. It looked like she was leaving anytime soon. She has a little water bottle. I don't know if she's on her freight. She has a little water bottle. She's been sitting there already for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm not going to wait too long with that. 
get them on the same thing that I'm doing. Got a hate. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. And then she come in here. So, you need to switch up the hours that I come. I'll do that. So we're gonna see what's in these two bags when we get around the corner. See you guys there. I also gotta check the trash guys. Never know they throw stuff in there. It's so busy right now. That's why I usually don't come in the daytime. I come like wee hours in the morning. Because there'll be people sitting everywhere during the daytime. So See you guys over to the corner. All right, guys, I'm in my little corner I used to go to. Let's see what we got. One of the bags is pretty heavy. We have a candle. Good start. Cut this and spill it out. Fresh gardenia. Now, this lotion they try to destroy, but it still has product in it. So I would take it. We have another candle. Where's the top I just had for the lotion? More candle. Sorry about the moving around, guys. I'm glad I went ahead and went. Another candle. They cut all of these, though. That really sucks. I can't find that very top now. Of course, they got the flowers but they're toasted as usual this one has a little scent left I use it at the house where did the top go guys ah there we go sorry about all the movement Hard doing it one handed. We broke that one. Feel like that's it for that bag. Yep. This one feels real light, so I doubt anything's in here. A couple bags. Yeah, this was a super light. Wasn't expecting nothing in this one. That's the new brochure. You know, I'll let you guys stay up to date of what's new. That's empty. But I heard somebody coming out, sorry. stuff up and I see you guys over at Ulta. Alright guys going up on the department store as well as Ulta. Empty. This one probably empty too because the lid is down. Yep empty. This whole Ulta got something for us. What is all this? Okay. Random. Also, like you got a lot of personal dump in it. Yep. 
it's like all personal. Even right down there. I'm not jumping in for that, guys. Too messy. Uh, if anything, we'll check B and L and 5B. If not, see you guys on the recap. Alright, guys. I know it's going to be at 5B, B and L. But I decided to come by. Oh, maybe. We got a bag, guys. Oh, let me bag this stuff up. And I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, fam, I went by BL. There was nothing there, so I didn't even record. Taking this 5B, which it looked like the mechanic guys got to it. So we'll check uh, the bookstore, and after that, we're done. Well, family, we had a great day. Can't complain. They always say something's better than nothing. Um, I was gonna go by the bookstore, but as you see, they got workers out here everywhere, even including over there where the uh, bookstore dumps it is so i did that next time but uh, i'm gonna try to come out early in the morning and do another run give you guys some more content but uh i'll see you guys on the recap all right treasure hunting family you see the product you know what it is recap time all right family we uh started off at a new plaza well it's not new this is a plaza i don't go to all the time I haven't been there in like months so I decided to go there, give you guys some new footages, new stores. Um, and unfortunately, didn't come up with too much of nothing. Uh, the plaza had the Ross, TJ, 5B, Sally's, and across the street, the Harbor. And the um, only thing I had came across with those was, there was nothing at the other ones, but at Harbor. I got this little keychain. And then this little ether like cord, phone cord. You never know, somebody might need it for home Wi-Fi, even though everybody gets wireless now, but still fine. So then I decided to go to my old go-to, my uh, usual, which is BNBW, Ulta, and all that. And um, we started at Burlington, actually, and came across these two home displays. As you see, they're broke right here, but I can use some glue for that. And also, too, I showed you guys before i told you guys before that i do spray paint over stuff so i can spray paint that a different color this one as well it's broke use a little wood glue and probably spray paint that one black again give it a good coat on it <clears throat> then after that we headed over to bmbw and we came across this right here as you seen earlier guys that person was sitting there uh that's like the second or third time i done seen them and they are workers for the city. And where I be going on there, it says it is the city's um, dumpsters. So I'm not sure if she was what she was doing sitting there. She might have been waiting for stuff. So never know. But anyhow, we came across this magic in the air lotion. They dumped out a lot of it, but still has tons of product left in it. We came across this ho, ho, ho. Twisted peppermint candle, which is burnt just a little bit. We also came across this Beachy King. Smells real good. It's Fiji White Sands, but it's only a little left, but I'll use it. Then we came across two of these Vanilla Birch, which smells real good also. As you see, this was brand new, not cracked or broke anything. Then we have this one that's been burnt like once or twice. So great finds on that. Also, too, they have new fragrance coming out. And you know, I like to keep you guys updated on what's new in the store. It's called Sunshine Mimosa. And as you see here, I'm cover that up. On the back, it says it's available May 7th. That's the whole set. As usual, I would love to find that candle or body mist. It's going to be limited time. And so inside, it had a little gift, which was one of those samples. Wish I could have got that with it. But that's all right. I have a feeling I'm going to come across it. 
There it is, a closer picture of it. Sunshine Mimosa. Okay. Then, guys, we went over, we was headed to the B and L and on the 5B. And I usually don't go by Old Navy, but I decided to go by that day, yesterday, and um, got my first hit from there. So I got my first hit from Burlington, which is awesome because I never get nothing from there. And like I said, I stopped going by Navy because they never have anything in there. But I came across this stuff. I have these socks in two different colors, two pairs. And I have these, three pairs. And then I have three pairs of these. Okay, also I have a pair of these. Pair of these. This pair. This pair right here. Nice pair of tie dye ones. And one straggler. I call it a straggler when it's not a match to it. I wish it had these. I kind of like these. I would rock them myself, personally. I like different type of socks. I would like this norm. And also, too, guys, remember a few videos back, I seen that display, and I was like, I didn't know they had Elf. They actually do have Elf there. The only thing wrong with this is, it says it's been opened, meaning it only has one of them in there. It's supposed to be two. Take this out. Brand new. I also came across these masks. Came across two, three, five of them. But I have plenty of masks. So what I probably do is just sanitize them with alcohol, spray them, because they haven't been used. Spray them with some alcohol to sanitize them and probably donate them. Then also two, I don't know what you call these, but I have one straggler of this from Old Navy. I have a pair here of black ones. And I have this pair here. And I had another pair of the black ones, so I gotta find the other one. I don't know why it's not up here, but so basically I got one, two, three, four pairs of those. Okay, got my little bath and body bags. You know I like to get those. I have extra bags. And then I came across this big bag, guys, full of stuff. I was so excited because I'm like, yeah, we finally got clothes. But by watching all the other people, I kind of figured they were going to be slashed. Which they are. They slashed them pretty good. They sliced them real good. They had the boxes in here. But as you see, they cut them. Got the red pair. They cut them. So basically all this stuff here is sliced up. This is a real nice like uh, workout crop top. I think they call it crop top. Pants are sliced. I had a lot of stuff, guys, but all of them are sliced up. Sliced up crazy. I might try to see if my niece can fix them and then um, I could donate them. Some nice black pants. More boxers. And they just went to work on these. They just went to work on those. And these, like a lot of them have a price tag on them. These was forty five dollars. These sweats, fifteen. And these some nice jeans too. OG straights. But once again, sliced stuff. So 
Like I said, I might decide to see if my niece will take time out to fix them. Try to sew them up. And that way I can donate them to people who might need clothes. Because the homeless rather have clothes that's sewed up versus no clothes. So, if not, then I just have to discard them. But, uh, yeah, that's my fine, guys. It wasn't a big, big score. Oh, also, too, I forgot. This says damaged on it. I found this perfume that they have at Old Navy. Oh, drift. I almost forgot that, guys. You can see it's full. Completely full. Only thing is, it's missing the top. But I got plenty of tops, so I'm not worried about that. I feel like that's a good find, too. So, yeah, once again, that's my find, guys. Um, if anybody's interested in the products from the last, say, five videos or so or six videos ago, um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Or you can check up in the description, and I have my email there. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff I donate, but some stuff I do uh, sell or do boxes on. So let me know if you're interested. And like always, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that we post. And um, also share if you like to let people know what we got going on in this community and how much they just get rid of stuff and how much of a waste and how much a shame it is that they do that. But also too, always give us that big thumbs up. I want to tell you guys thank you too for keeping up with me. And uh, all the new subscribers, welcome. All the people who've been here, welcome back. I am giving me a new camera this weekend, so I want to thank you guys so, so much for putting up with all the shaking and moving around that's going on, but I am going to get my new camera where it'll be less shaking and less moving around and more clear videos. So, like always, see you guys on the next one.